If you haven't been living under a rock, then you know that de-extinction is no longer a thing of the future. It's a thing of the now. Colossal biosciences proved this one year ago when they rewound the clock 10,000 years and brought the dire wolves out of extinction. That was the first dire wolf howl heard in over 100 centuries. And the craziest part is that's just the beginning. Here are five more animals that Colossal plans to bring out of extinction. And if you want to stay updated on all the de-extinction news, make sure you follow Colossal. That's where it's all going down. Now I'm sure you've heard about this one because that's their most popular project. Once upon a time, about 10,000 years ago, these bad boys roamed free in Siberia and Alaska. And I shouldn't have to tell you this, but they were huge. Old Manny over here stood 11 feet tall at the shoulders and got up to six tons, which is about 12,000 pounds. And their tusks? Yeah, they could get up to 15 feet. <laughs> That's ridiculous. But anyways, when the mammoths went extinct, there was no more animals to compact the permafrost. Fluffy snow is a good insulator. It blocks cold air from the outside, resulting in the permafrost melting. That's bad. You want the snow compacted down to prevent the melting of the permafrost. Which brings me to the mammoths. Basically, Colossal is gonna take the DNA of an Asian elephant and fill in all the missing genetic gaps to make it match a woolly mammoth. And then they insert those genes into an embryo and insert that embryo into an Asian elephant. And if all goes well, that Asian elephant should give birth to a woolly mammoth. And the goal is to get these mammoths back into the permafrost to prevent the damage. In other words, we're probably gonna see a woolly mammoth in our lifetime. What a time to be alive. <laughs> if you've seen Ice Age, then you know about the Dodo. Between the Valen! Taekwondo! These bad boys used to roam free on Mauritius, which is a small island off the coast of Africa. They stood about three feet tall and weighed up to 50 pounds apiece, and they were flightless. They were birds that couldn't fly. <laughs> Talk about getting the short end of the stick. But because they were flightless, the introduction of invasive species in Africa caused them to go extinct. I mean, they couldn't deal with rats or pigs. Or cats. <laughs> Probably should have led with that one. But this was detrimental on the ecosystem. I mean, that's their prime seed disperser, and then they just go extinct. For now. And that's because Colossal has announced their plans to bring them back. Basically, they're gonna take a Nico Bar pigeon and then edit its PGCs to match a dodo. That's basically its genetic makeup that it passes down to its offspring. And then they'll take those PGCs and insert them into an egg. Once that egg hatches, it's gonna be a normal bird. But that bird, when it lays eggs, will give birth to dodos. Doesn't make any sense. And I don't care, because in our lifetime, we're gonna see a dodo. Now this one is a little different because the northern white rhino is not fully extinct. It's just functionally extinct. Which means there's only two of these rhinos left on earth and they're both female, so. No more breeding. However, Colossal and their partners recently announced plans to get their numbers back up. <laughs> make that make sense. Okay, I'll make it make sense. You see, there's a company known as BioRescue that has 19 preserved northern white rhino eggs from a female. And they're fertile, using preserved seed from a northern white rhino. I mean, they're already in the early stages of an embryo. The only problem is the two female northern white rhinos left are too old to give birth. So they figured out a way to implant these eggs into a southern white rhino. And that southern white rhino should give birth to a northern white rhino. In other words, the northern white rhino being down to their last two females may still dodge the bullet called extinction. This one is one that Colossal recently announced. Now that it's official and the giant moa is coming back, there's some things you should know. First off, standing 12 feet tall, this is the tallest bird to ever exist. They also had a whopping zero foot wingspan. The only bird in history without wings. And once upon a time, these guys were just walking around on the South Island of New Zealand. Like the dodo, they were the primary seed disperser, and there was a lot of plants that relied on them to survive. They were also the main prey of the largest eagle to ever exist. And then, about 500 years ago, they got hunted into extinction for jewelry. And that was very bad news for the ecosystem. A lot of plants went extinct, or fell to the verge of extinction. As well as the largest eagle in the world. They lost 
lost their main food source and they couldn't survive. So now, because of that, Colossal has partnered up with the local research center in New Zealand and they're working on a way to bring them back. And the plan is to use an emu, kind of like how they use gray wolves to bring back the dire wolves. In other words, we're gonna have 12 foot birds just walking around. <laughs> That's awesome, probably. Now this one is probably the one that people are most excited for. And I get it. At one time, these bad boys were the top of the food chain of their habitat. But then again, that's kind of obvious. I mean, it's a 60 pound fully carnivorous marsupial that can open their mouth at an 80 degree angle. By the way, marsupial just means they give birth to live babies and carry them in a pouch. Weird spot for the pouch, but hey. Who am I to judge? But anyways, this footage shows the last remaining thylacine to ever exist. His name was Benjamin. And when Benjamin passed away in 1936, the species officially went extinct. For now. And that's because Colossal has already started the process of bringing them out of extinction. So many people said that this is an impossible task, except Colossal released an update. The genome for the thylacine is 99.9% .9 complete. And the goal is to release them back into the wild in Tasmania. That way, Tasmania will once again have a large carnivore and it will balance the ecosystem. <laughs> How exciting is that? Slightly terrifying, but exciting. And just like that, you are now aware of five extinct animals that might be coming back in the near future. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Otherwise, when Colossal brings back the T-Rex, I'm dropping it right off in front of your house. I love you guys. And as always, stay odd. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.